What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. I'm Kenny. And we are GK, GK Builders. Builders. If you're new to the channel and you love LEGO, why haven't you subscribed? And if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, it helps out the channel a whole bunch, and it's always appreciated. Today we're doing a review of an alternate build of a brand new set from LEGO Transformers. It is the Ransom Fern Bumblebee alternate build. Jackson, don't tell us about this box because we already did that. If you haven't seen our full review of Bumblebee, after you watch this video, come back here and then click right here to go see that video. Or go see it and then come back, I don't care. But you can see our thoughts on the original Bumblebee by watching that video. Um, there are pros and cons, you know, it was, uh, we liked it, but there's things we didn't like about it. So it was kind of a mixed review, I think. All right, here is Bumblebee here. Of course, uh, there are pros and cons, like I said. So uh, one thing was he didn't look exactly like the G1 version of Bumblebee. He has these huge shoulder uh, pieces that don't really look like G1. He's got a big back. He's got a really skinny back, actually. Like, it's just very mm -hmm. empty. He's got a big piece on the back. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's the coolest thing about this one is that they figured out how to make him transform. So, and when we did that video, I actually mentioned, I would prefer they made this set just more accurate and then made it so that you could turn it into the, the robot version and then maybe take it apart and rebuild it as a beetle, you know, as the car so that you get a more accurate depiction of what the character actually looks like. And although it is very, very cool um, and a great feat that they're able to um, engineer this so that it can transform without taking any pieces off, it still, it, it took away from the look of the actual set. So lo and behold, we have Ransom Fern, who is an amazing Lego builder. He's made many mocks and alternate builds of sets. He did the alternate build of the UCS Hulkbuster set that we have done. Hey. If you haven't seen that video, you can check that out right here. Also, <laughs> or watch that one, then watch this one. That set is amazing. What he's able to do with that is absolutely incredible. Um, this yeah, obviously on a much smaller scale, but he was able to take this Bumblebee and turn him into this <laughs> Bumblebee, the 2018 Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie that came out in 2018. Um, so you can see there were no additional parts needed for this. And he just looks so much better. He looks really, really good um, and looks a lot like what we see in the movie. So as you can see, there's just tons and tons of detail in this set. He looks really, really good. Um, He's very well built. There's not really any pieces that are flimsy or will fall off. There's only a couple pieces that have uh, single point uh, connections, like mm. these pieces here on the chest. That's the only real thing that I found being a little bit, uh, a little bit touchy as far as uh, falling off when you touch them. He does have these wings on the back. I love how they use the wheels here on his back like that. Um, there are a couple different things that you can do to him. You can take off his hand and actually put on the blaster gun um, on this hand like this. I didn't actually do it because I like him better with the hands on. There's also an alternate build to his face where you can actually do battle version of Bumblebee's face, um, which looks completely different. And I'll, I'll be sure to put pictures of that on the screen as well as you're watching this. Um, but he looks really, really cool. The feet look awesome. Um, he's proportionate. He has lots of articulating pieces like the, the ankles move, the knees move, the hips move. He can take all kinds of poses. The elbows move, shoulders move, the head can turn and move. Um, so I've seen him in lots of different poses, um, battle stances. You can really pose this guy in so many different ways that it looks really, really good. Now Ransom Fern has also made an Optimus Prime and I'm just kind of waiting for Optimus Prime to maybe go on sale and I might pick up another one of those. You can also build the Optimus Prime from the 2018 uh, movie, Bumblebee movie as well. And he looks really good also and he's quite a bit taller um, which is a little bit more proportionate to what he should be, but then, it's the same set and uses the same pieces. And then there's another one that's like two times taller than that one. Yeah, I don't know what that one's from, but there he does have another one. He's got a few different versions of uh, Optimus Prime that you can build, and they look pretty cool. Um, but anyway, Jack, what are some of the things that you like about this new Bumblebee? Which one do you like better, first of all? Uh, definitely the 2018 one, only because like I've only seen that, and it's a lot better. And it's just, I don't know, just all the detail. I mean, I'm glad that he didn't make it so he can transform. He just made it so he looks good, which was a big plus when we got it. It is a plus. I mean, the downside is that he can't transform, but the oh, yeah. positive is that he doesn't transform. So they didn't have to make any cuts or alterations to 
the appearance in order to make it so that he could transform like they did with this one. Um, it's similar to the Hulkbuster where they, the one Lego made looked really, really bad. And their excuse for it was so they could fit the Mark 43 Iron Man on the inside of it. Well, you know, Ransom Fern was able to recreate that set with all the same pieces and still fit Mark 43 on the inside of it. So it's really, there's really no excuses for for some of these uh, mistakes by Lego and these miscreations um, when someone that is, uh, you know, technically not a professional designer, I don't think. I think he's just a, a Lego he fan. Be. He should be. He probably should be. Can take this set and within a matter of a couple of months create something that looks so good. You just know? think about how much time that would take, just finding every piece. It blows my mind. It's got to take a very special talent. Like, the dude is just, he's unreal. And there's lots of designers like that out there that just have tons of abilities to create. And right. Lego needs to hire these people yeah. <laughs> so that we get less of stuff like this and less of stuff like the uh, Hulkbuster. And um, more that, stuff like this. And more stuff that more actually stuff looks like, you know, what we're looking for. Now, obviously, this is not a G1 Bumblebee. Yeah. Um, we're not trying to claim that it is. Um, obviously, G1 Bumblebee looks a lot different than both of these sets. Uh, but I think this Bumblebee is a lot more accurate to the source material from the 2018 movie than this Bumblebee is from uh, the Generation 1 of the Transformers comics and it just, cartoon show. It just looks so funny. Yeah. Now, there were quite a few um, extra pieces <laughs> left over as well. So I have this whole bag of extra pieces. I mean, it's not a ton, but I mean, that's a significant amount of pieces. Which and one includes the face paint. we also didn't use any of the stickers. Now, of course, I could do the, the plaque if I wanted to, um, but there wasn't a license plate or a place to put the bumper stickers. So didn't use the stickers, didn't touch the instruction book. Um, I believe I paid, what, maybe $10, I think, for the instructions from Ransom Firm off of Rebrickable.com. I'll be sure to put the link to those instructions in the description below or where you can go to buy them. Um, but overall, my thoughts are this is an awesome set. And if you don't like this Bumblebee, you might like this one, um, especially some of you younger folks that didn't uh, get to take part in the Generation 1 of Transformers. Uh, I'm sure you've been around for the 2018 uh, movies and some of the Michael Bay stuff. This is going to be something a lot more up your alley that uh, matches the Bumblebee that you are familiar with. So the set's only $90. I think it's worth it. I used some VIP points to pick this one up. So I think it's worth it. If you like this Bumblebee and you think it looks cool. Um, also, I mean, I'm going to display these two together with Optimus Prime. And I think they they all look really good together. So build them both. Build one. Build whichever one that you think uh, is better. Yes, sir. Jackson, do you think this is a Bumblebee, a Skibbity Toilet? No, I think he's Sigma. Sigma, how Rizzity, Riz, Riz, Skibbity Toilet? No, more Sigma than that. All right, so there it is, our review of the Ransom Fern alternate build of Bumblebee. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Are you gonna build this set? Which one is your favorite? As always, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, keep, keep on, on building. building.